The Emmys have been postponed as SAG-AFTRA and the Writers Guild members strike at the same time, demanding actionable change, things like better pay. But many say that Hollywood's core issues go way beyond just money. Maureen Mo Ryan's new book, Burn It Down, Power, Complicity, and a Call for Change in Hollywood, dives into stories of harassment and bias in Hollywood and what needs to be done to change Hollywood's future. Mo, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. And of course, as you know, uh, your book comes at a time when we're ex experiencing this actors and writers. They're striking together for the first time since 1960. So how has the industry come to this point where you have so many people at the same time saying enough is enough? I think that what we really are seeing is the changes wrought by the streaming revolution. So mm -hmm. about a decade ago, almost exactly, Orange is the New Black, House of Cards premiered. Those shows were among the vanguard of shows changing the game. So there were many good things about this revolution, who got to tell stories, who was the stars of these shows, that sort of thing. There were many more people who got opportunities. The problem came with compensation and how the compensation mm -hmm. would work out. If I had to boil it down, I would say that people who shared somewhat meaningful, meaningfully in the piece of the pie, uh, they got a piece of the pie when shows were successful or when sh films were successful. That has gone away for many people, and that's what the strike is about. Absolutely. You're talking, of course, about these residuals. There's also issues with AI on that front. But there also are these underlying issues that you write about as well. You say, don't deploy solutions at the wrong time when it comes to allegations about sexually abusive behavior. What are the ways that Hollywood has done this as well? Hollywood has frankly put people in positions of responsibility that have had no training for that. And it has also taken this word creativity and put a lot of things under that banner that don't belong there. Uh, abusing people, hitting them, assaulting them, that is nothing to do with creativity, and any first-rate artist would tell you that, any storyteller would tell you that. But the, the industry has done no training. You know, in, mo in many industries that you go into, if you want to be put into a position of department head, manager, you're managing dozens or hundreds of people, you would get support resources, not just training, but guardrails on your behavior and meaningful mm -hmm. reporting systems for reporting anything that goes wrong for employees. Hollywood has not meaningfully had those things at all. Right, you're almost talking about a learned behavior. And, and you touched on a word that I think is so important as something that you write about. We need to unpack it a little bit more, I think. Creativity. You've said that there's yeah. this expectation that creativity involves physical, mental, financial abuse. How do you really feel that that abuse has you know, become normalized under the means of creativity? It's an easy out. I mean, that's the, the easiest way to say it is that um, people don't want to say we are allowing this star or this producer to act this way because we think that this person can make money for us. That feels like an impolite and gross thing to say. So people don't want to say that. They want to have a cover, a scrim, if you will, of like, well, this person has to behave in this fashion or else they cannot access their creative impulses. And that's just nonsense. And let's talk for a moment just about the monetary impacts here of this strike, the TV and the filmmaking. You know, it's a business at the end of the day, right? These companies are expected to bring in huge profits to their shareholders. They have to also play hardball. They have to trim the costs where possible, even if it means, you know, hurting some of the industry workers. But they have to increase these profits. They have to then invest in the next TV show or film. They say they've brought historic offers to those who are striking. You know, what, what is your response to that and, and the industry's responsibility? Um, I think that the people that I know, the thousands of people I've talked to in the industry, they really want to work. They want to work hard, and they're not greedy, frankly. Um, you know, in 2021, David Zaslav, the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, in one year, he made $246 million. It's very hard to be a working actor or a jobbing director or a writer going from project to project, studio to studio, and have people say, well, we cannot meet your demands for meaningful residuals 
meaningful raises in pay, they don't find these offers acceptable. We're at a huge disparity in those numbers, of course. Uh, Mo, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time tonight. And you can check out her book, Burn It Down, Power, Complicity, and a Call for Change in Hollywood. It's out right now, wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.